Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Yeah, so, this is the second part of our lecture on magic squares. In the last lecture, uh, we discussed uh, this Thoragagati method of obtaining magic square. So, Thoraga refers to horse, so Gati is jumping. So, basically, so it is uh, related to the movement of horse as we see in chessboard. So, how do we generate magic squares using the technique? So, I will quickly recapitulate that and then work out a couple of examples as uh, if you approach me and then ask me, so it will be convenient to see. So, how do we exactly use that method to generate? So, we will work out a couple of examples. So, we did not have much time in the last lecture. So, then uh, I will discuss uh, the properties of the pan diagonal magic squares. So, as has been neatly worked out by Professor Vijay Raghavan. And based on those properties, so how is it that we can easily generate magic squares? So, these are the two things that we will uh, do in the first, and then we will move on to uh, the method which has been described by Narayana, which is called Samputa. So, Samputa basically means sort of putting together. So, we, we may translate it as folding method folding in the sense of uh, two squares, so folded like a hand, so and then added. So, the elements of two squares, so we each of them will have a certain arithmetic progression written down in a particular form. So, when we sort of fold them together and add the sum, so we will get the magic square. So, this is what is called uh, Samputa method of Narayana and we will do that for Samagarbha squares and then we will also extend it for Vishamagarbha squares and then we will work out a couple of examples for uh, 8 by 8 magic squares that will more or less bring the discussion on magic square to the end. So, this is the verse which uh, prescribes this Turaga approach to obtain magic squares. Chaturanga Turaga Gatya Dvaudvau Shredhi Samudbhava Vankau Nyasya Kramot Kramenacha Koshthaikya ekantarenacha savya savya turangama ritya koshthan prapurayet ankaihi samagarbhe shodashagraha bhadre proktaha vidhishchayam. So, vidhishchayam, so this is the rule that has been prescribed. So, prescribed to obtain shodashagraha bhadre, so magic square having 16 cells, so 4 by 4 samagarbha. And uh, in fact, uh, the last line here he says, Iha samagarbhanam apyanyesham udbhavas chaturbhadrat. So, anyesham chaturbhadrat, once you have a 4 by 4 magic square, you can extend it to 8 by 8, you can extend it to 16 by 16. So, more or less the process will be similar. So, that is what Narayana points out. Anyesham udbhavaha chaturbhadrat. So, I will work out. Uh, one or two examples, so that uh, this Turaga method becomes uh, clear. So, let us start with uh, so we will start with one here. So, this Turaga, so we have to place, so it is a horse movement, so we have to place. 2 here. So, what is important to note is dvau dvau that is what he says. So, pair of 2. So, uh, suppose you consider 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you just split them into 2 pairs and then these 2 1 and 2 will have a turaga, 3 and 4 will have a turaga. So, not 2 and 3. Suppose I put 3 here, then turaga will lead 4 here. Then I start with 5. So, one thing to note here is, so it will be convenient to have a certain uh, pattern recognition, so that we will be able to very quickly fill the squares. So, what we have done here is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this could be thought of the first movement, 
so he is sort of uh, circular so you can call it pradakshina so this will be very easy if you just have some kind of so convention so so that it we can be easily filled so now i take phi so so in this example which i have worked out so phi 6 so this is turaga then so we move 7 and 8 yeah no 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 see that is why we have so many forms of 384 forms so you choose one particular form so this turaga so you can have in many many ways so you just choose one particular form one jump so that is why I am just saying so this you can have so at the second stage what I have done is these four elements so all of them I have done this apradakshina kind of thing so you, if you want to call <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, in fact, he says there are two ways. So, there are two terms which he says kramayana, utkramayana, savyena, apasavyena. So, in fact, uh, each one has its own way of generation. So, we will we will just see one or two examples so that it becomes evident. One has to play around with this. So, then, so you can start with 9. So, 9, so you place 10 and then uh, move on to 11 so and then you place 12 here so this is the third movement which i had done so it's again sort of production or kind of a thing see and uh, the fourth so it should be sort of up production so 13 14 15 and 16 so this you can see 13 14 15 16 so it is sort of let me start with a different location for 2 so this turaga from 1 so it can jump to, to 4 places it can either be here it can be here so it can be here or it can be here so this i try to explain in the morning so let me choose some other uh, place for turaga So I start with 1 and then I place 2 here. So you can uh, place 3 here and then 4 will jump. See in fact there are 2 things to note in the verse. One is see you look at this so he says kramena utkramena cha koshthaikya ekantarena cha so the two examples which i have chosen is ekantara so so one difference so koshthaikya is a possibility when you start with 3 here itself so we'll we'll do that see suppose you take 2 here you can start 3 here you can put 3 here and then also you can work out the turaga gati should be for pairs so uh, i write it this way so 3 4 then you just take 5 so 5 turaga so 6 so then 7 then 8 so 5 6 7 8 once again you can see so 1 2 3 4 i sort of in this particular thing so of the first movement was so upper dakshina 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is second movement is so production kind of a thing then so i will start with 9 10 11 and then 12 so this third movement so 9 10 11 12 is once again upper dakshina and once you do a certain production the rest will get filled so so 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so this is what he refers to by saying savya apasavya krama utkrama so there are two things so one is this kind of a circular movement clockwise anti clockwise so i'll just work out one more example instead of working out these examples in the board 
So, we will work out these examples using the slides themselves and I will explain them. So, that I mean we will be able to save time. So, in the previous examples you might have noted that uh, the MLIO glass were placed in a sort of circular and anti clockwise anti circular manner see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, and so on and so forth, but in the couple of examples that I am going to show you now. So, instead of having this MLA glass placed in clockwise and anti clockwise mode, we will have them placed diagonally itself. So, for instance in this example if you see 1 and 2, 3 and 4, then 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, similarly, so the rest of the things get filled by moving in southeast, southwest, northwest and northeast direction. For instance, if you look at um, the last four numbers see 13, 14, 15, 16. So, they are all in the northeast direction. So, assuming this to be the north. The next example that I am going to show you now here instead of uh, placing 5 and 9 in this position we are just going to swap them. See. So, 1, 2, 3 remain in the same position 1, 2, 3 and uh, 4 also remain same. So, instead of placing 5 above I am going to place 5 here to the left and then the whole thing will be placed. So, if you note uh, in this example, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. In between these two examples you will see that the diagonal elements remain the same see 1, 13, 16, 4, 1, 13, 16, 4, here 14, 2, 3, 15, 14, 2, 3, 15 and uh, what you will notice is the off diagonal elements see. So, 7 and 11 they have got swapped here. Similarly, 12 and 8 they have got swapped here, 6 and 10 have got swapped, 9 and 5 have got swapped. So, this if you look at this is the kind of motion that we have for the MLA yoga loss and the first and the last they remain the same, these two have got swapped. So, I will work out a couple of more examples, this is, these, are, these, these are the previous examples and in the new example you will see that instead of placing 3 here, so I am placing 3 here. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4. As I had mentioned earlier see having placed 1 and 2, 3 can be actually placed in any of these 3 positions 1, 2 or 3. So, initially we started with uh, see 1, 2 and 3. So, this is Ekantara mode and uh, in the other examples these are all Koshthaikya modes. So, Ekantara basically means one cell in between and Koshthaikya two cells are close to each other see 2 and 3 are placed in such a way that there is no cell in between them. So, here again instead of placing 3 here I have placed the 3 here and uh, 4 has to be placed here. So, notice that all of them are Turaga mode only see any two pairs 1 and 2 are in Turaga 3 and 4 in not Turaga. So, between 2 and 3 we do not see so, each pair you should start and they have they should have the Turaga mode this much has to be ensured. And uh, in this example uh, so you notice see 3 4 then 5 and then 6 here 5 6 so 7 and 8 and between this example and this example. So, I am not going to explain all the details. So, you can see from this example and uh, one thing which is strikingly similar between this example and this example is the following. So, here if you notice 1, 8, 10 and 15, 7, 2, 16 and 9 see these are one and the same 1, 8, 10, 15, 7, 2, 16, 9. So, between this example and this example. So, by moving 
3 from this side to this side. So, you see that what has happened is, so the elements 14, 11, 5 and 4, 14, 11, 5 and 4. So, the elements of rows 1 and 3 are identical in whereas, 4 and uh, 2 they have got swapped with each other. So, this row has gone here and this row has moved here. So, this is the difference between these two examples. Similarly, uh, in this example, so 1, 2, 3, 4, instead of placing 5 here, I am placing 5 here, see between 3 and 5 we are just swapping and uh, here again you will notice that, so between this and this column 2 and 4 have got swapped with each other and 1 and 3 they remain the same. Ah. See the, the problem is the following. So, when you place the first element, so you have 1, you have 2, so now you can place the 3 here, 3 here or 3 here. So, when you place 3 here, so there is a ekantara. Ah, one koshtha santara, so difference is there. And when you place it right next. Ah, so it is not uh, koshtha ikya. That is koshtha ikya. Ah, ikya is sort of in proximity. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that is what it is. Okay. Yeah. So we uh, move on to discuss this property. So I just uh, started uh, discussion on this. So property one essentially tells that uh, so in uh, the magic squares you choose so any two so so columns or rows see that is what it says consecutive rows and columns so any two by two sub square the sum will be thirty four so any two by two sub square the sum will be thirty four this is the first property that needs to be so and uh, so how many such things one can have so, in fact, uh, so morning I was mentioning that it is 15, so apparently it should be 16. So, it was pointed out uh, by Kamala Krithivasan, is it? <laughs> okay. So, my professor Kamala Krithivasan was saying, so that it should be perhaps 16. Yeah, it looks like uh, there are 16 such possibilities, so one can have. So, once you sort of fold it, see, so you have 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then so the center will be 9, okay. so then all the so corners when they sort of fold, so you will have. So, the second property is uh, will be extremely useful in constructing this magic square along with the third property. So, if you look at the square so, you just uh, add up elements which are alternate across the diagonal. So, they will be summing up to s by 2 half the magic sum. So, 1 plus 16 is 17, so 6 plus 11 is 17 and uh, you have 12 plus 5 17 and 10 plus 7 17. So, this is how it is 13 plus 4 17. So, it will be adding up to s by 2. So, this is a very important property. So, then we move on to the third property. So, which is a very very interesting thing which has been proved by Professor Vijay Raghavan. Here, so he says that the neighbors of the elements are fixed. So, neighbors in the sense of along any row and column. So, for instance, so, if you just take number 16 which appears here, so the neighbors are 2, 5, 3 and 9. So, whatever be the configuration in which you arrive at, so these will be the 4 neighbors of 16. So, this is true for any element that is in the matrix, okay, in the uh, magic square. So, this 2, 5, 3, 9, so once we remember this then I think we will be able to construct the entire magic square. So, along with the earlier property, so I will just work out 
an example. So, you start one and then so it says that suppose you choose 16 if you remember the neighborhood of 16. So, the neighbors of 16 2, 3, 5 and 9. So, this can be placed in any any way you want. So, these are the four neighbors. In fact, uh, this immediately tells you that uh, the number of possible combinations is 384. See, so this neighbor once it is fixed, so there are four neighbors and they can be placed in four factorial ways, so which is 24 and for this number this one can be placed anywhere. So, there are 16 ways and 16 into 24 is 384. So, it is a very important property which has been uh, uh, worked out by Professor Vijay Raghavan. So, here uh, so it tells you that see the sum of any of these four blocks has to be uh, 34. So, you have 16 plus 9 25 and uh, so this should be 4 and if you look at so this and this. So, they had to sum up to 17. So, this has to be 13 and this and this has to sum up to 17. So, I can place 14 and all this has to sum up to 34. So, this is 28 uh, sorry 18. So, 18 and 9 27. So, this actually fixes 7. So, on this way we can easily fill the entire magic square. So, this is 5 this has to be 12. So, this way one can just get all the elements fixed. No, this is true of all elements across the diagonal any any alternate thing if you choose. So, that sum has to be 70. So, you have to just choose alternate thing and that has to be 70 that is why it is ok. So, this is 2 and this has to be 15. So, one can uh, so this this is a very uh, elegant way of working out <laughs> magic squares once you remember for one element. So, for one element if you remember the neighborhood then it automatically fixes. So, all the elements of the magic square see. So, that 16 you can place anywhere hmm? the 16 hmm? you can place anywhere right. So, see once you fix this one uh -huh. so it has to be here. Because of uh, the part time. Alternate, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, if you place so the one there, of course, it will move. So, what is that? So, if you place the one here, so 16 will get fixed here. So, now this neighborhood, see, so 2, 3, 5, and 9, so you can place it anyway. So, 2, see 3, 5 and 9, so it moves here, so it will be mapped here. Is that the place only place? A and B For 9, that is the only place? Yeah, so because, so it, it has to be in the neighborhood, the neighborhood the cell, so is mapped here in a torus, so that is how it is. Arithmetic progression A and D changes, we have to remember the change or we can simply interpolate that. Hmm? Means uh, this square can have other sums also as per the arithmetic progression. No, no, no. no. See, this is valid for elements with 1 to 16. Okay. So, all this uh, that we have said is, yeah, okay. So, Samagarbha magic squares, uh, so suppose we have a 8 by 8. So, this Thakkara Peru as I was mentioning earlier has discussed this magic square in his 
Ganita Sara Kaumudi, that is the text. So, it is composed around 1300 AD. Ganita Sara Kaumudi, that is the text. So, it is composed around 1300 AD. And uh, so he prescribes a method by which one can construct 8 by 8 from 4 by 4. So, so let us conceive of uh, so this magic square. So, initially we start with 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, what to do is you do the same thing, you divide it into 4, 4 by 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, you just fill it like a Turagati. <laughs> so, you just fix it. So, these are actually referred to as Yamala Yugalong cos. See, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So, Yamala is also 2, Yugala is also 2. So, Yamala Yugala is the term that they employ. So, these Yamala Yugalong cos have to be placed like this. So, what is the meaning of Yamala? Huh? That is also Dvayam. So, now uh, the next step is see one thing which we note we need to note is so you moved from left to right see and then you move from left to right. So, this has to be kept in mind. Then so wherever you left so you left with this so 16. So, you have to start here in the same 4 by 4. So, 17, 18, 19, 20 so it will be in the opposite way. So, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, you move here. So, 21, 22, 23, 24. Fine. Then you start here. So, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So, this is the next. <laughs> so, half of this is filled now. The other half, so is almost identical. So, you stopped here and therefore, you have to start here. Okay. So, 32. So, we came up to this. So, then you start 33, 34, 35, 36. Sir, how did you select the position? Sir, how did you fix 33? Oh, that is a very interesting question. So, why did I choose to place 33 here having placed 32 there? In order to explain this, so I may have to go back then choose to explain how we chose to place the elements in a 4 by 4 magic square which is a much simpler case. So, let us see this example. Here having placed 1, 2, 3 and 4 in a sort of clockwise direction, I chose to place 5 towards the east of 4. So, having placed 4 here, I just place 5 here and then so it goes in Turaga motion 5, 6, 7, 8 contact clockwise direction. So, and then having placed 8 here, so once again I move down and then 9, 10, 11 and 12 were placed in a sort of clockwise direction. So, I would like you to note the relative positions of 4, 5 and 8 and 9 in the case of a 4 by 4 magic square. Now, we may want to the 8 by 8 magic square. In the case of 8 by 8, so we just have to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 all of them in the same clockwise manner and then in the next step. So, we place the 16 here and then immediately 17. So, 17, 18, 19, 20 and this pattern will be followed in all the 4 by 4 sub magic squares which are there in the 8 by 8 magic square. And having placed the 32, we are placing 33 here. And then we move on in the same pattern 33, 34, 35, 36 and so on. One thing which you need to note here is whatever is the role played by 4 and 5 in the case of a 4 by 4 magic square will be played by 16 and 17. Say for instance, in the case of 4 by 4, so 4 and 5 are placed by moving towards the east. 
in the case of 8 by 8. So, this 4 and 5 are same as are mapped to 16 and 17 in the case of 8 by 8. So, having placed the 16 here we move towards the east and then place 17. Similarly, this 8 and 9 in the case of 4 by 4 will be mapped to 32 and 33. So, you can notice that. So, we start placing them in almost an identical manner as 4 by 4. So, that is why so Narayana so in his verse he very clearly said Iha samagarbhanam annyesham udbhavas chaturbhadrat once you understand the pattern in the case of 4 by 4, then all the multiples 4 m type can be constructed by recognizing a certain pattern which will be followed in all the higher dimensional magic squares. This is something which one can play around with various things and then this is how one gets in magic squares. That does not follow the Turagagati. Huh? Everything is placed in Turagagati and where one should start? So, is something which is uh, to be filled in and then one has to understand. Okay. So, in fact, uh, initially people would have started with Turagagati and then after this Turagagati one actually finds out the explanation. See how many possible combinations that is what has been worked out by uh, Professor Vijay Raghavan later. So, that this is this is this is the only thing possible and it will be something derivable from the properties. So, which one has to study. Okay, so, now I move on to another interesting thing. These are all just Turagagati playing. So, you just place play around. So, this more interesting thing which has been presented as an algorithm by Narayana is the following, which is the Samputa Vidhi. Here he says, Samagarbhe Dvekarye Chadaka Samyam Tayor Bhave Dekam Chadhyabhidana Manyat Kara Samputa Vacha Samputo Jnayaha. So, Kara Samputa Vacha Samputo Jnayaha, that is what I was saying. Samagarbhe Dvekarye. So, Samagarbha. So, refers to uh, magic square of dimension 4 m. Okay. So, we can work out examples with so 4 by 4 and then 8 by 8, but uh, so Samagarbha refers to 4 m. Dvekarya you have to prepare 2 magic squares. So, we have to do that. One is called Chadaka, the other is called Chadya. Chadaka Samyam Payoho Ekam Bhavet Chadya Vidanam Anyat. And then so, Chadya Chadaka is just placing one over the other, one is the coverer, the other is covered kind of a thing. So, this is what he says. So, Ishtadi Ishta Chayanka Bhadramita Mola Pankti Samnyadya. So, so, morning I was referring to so the kind of Kotaka equation that you will have once you have S and N. So, A and D have to be determined. Okay. So, Ishtadi Ishta Chayanka Ishtadi, so this arithmetic sequence which you choose it is ishta. So, it can be any number, it can be 0, 1, 2, 3, it can be 2, 4, 8, 9, whatever. So, it should be a simple arithmetic progression which you have to choose. Ishta adi, ishta chaya, ankaha, bhadramita, bhadramita means limited by bhadra. So, bhadra if it is 4 by 4, so you have to just choose a string sequence of 4, four elements. So, if it is 8, you have to choose 8, bhadramita and it is referred to as mula pankti. Mula Pankti Samnya Adhya. So, this is all it says. Then Tadvatu Abhipsita Mukhachaya Pankti Scha Anya Parakhya Syat. So, Abhipsita Mukha Pankti. So, this Anya, so is Para Pankti. Parakhya means it is called Para. So, we call one as Mula, the other is called Para. And uh, Abhipsita Mukhachaya, so this is also like that. Abhipsita is desired, Mukha is first number, Chaya is uh, Difference Mukhachaya Pankticha Anya Parakya Syat. So, for example, we can have Mola Pankti 2, 4, 6, 8, we can have 3, 6, 9, 12, we can choose anything for 4, 8, 12, 16, it can be even negative. So, we can start with minus 2, 0, 2, 4, all that is fine. Para Pankti, so is also just anything that you like 0, 3, 6, 9, so all this is Chaya is just. Then Mulakya Pankti Yogo Nitam Phalam Parasamasa Sambhaktam. So Mulakya Pankti Yogo Nitam. Mulakya Pankti Yoga, Yoga is basically sum. So Mulakya Pankti, you had a Mula Pankti and you had a sequence, arithmetic sequence. Yoga is sum. Unitam is subtracted. 
मूलाख्य पंक्ति योगोनित फल परसमास संभक्त फल सो इट वाज मेंशन एर्लियर रेफर्स टू दि सम ऑफ दिस मैजि स्क्वेर ओके सो सम इज रेफर टू एस फल सो इफ यू लुक एट दिस इक्वेशन इफ सपोज यस इज द सम फल ऊनित सी ऊनित मीन सब्ट्राक्टेड सो मूलाख्य पंक्ति ऊनित सपोज यस एम सो वन टू थ्री फोर इज युवर मूल पंक्ति सो सम इज टेन and what you need to do is suppose you want to find out a magic square whose sum is 40 so then s minus s sum is what is stated here and uh, parasamasa sambhaktam samasa also refers to summation so parasamasa the sum of the para pankti so tena sambhaktam divided so it has to be divided so this is what is and what you get is phi here in this particular case then he says लब्धता परपंक्ति सो दिस परपंक्ति हेज टू बी मल्टीप्लाइड बै दि क्वेश्चन दट यू अब्टेन्ड सो गुणजाख्या सा भवेत पंक्ति सो दट इज रेफर्ड टू एस गुणपंक्ति सो सिंस इट इज अब्टेन्ड फ्रम गुण सो इट इज कॉल्ड गुणपंक्ति सो बेसिकली सो वी नीड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट मूल पंक्ति एंड देन वी नीड टू हेव गुणपंक्ति सो विद यू विल बी क्रियेटिंग युवर छाद्या एंड छादक देन यू डू संपुटा सो यू विल गेट Uh, the desired magic square which is pan diagonal so mula gunakhe pankti ete bhadrartha tastu parivrtte see so having stated this so he says mula gunakhe pankti this mula pankti and para pankti so bhadrartha tastu parivrtte suppose you have a square magic square bhadrartha refers to half of it so parivrtte means they have to be placed in sort of circular form okay so here so let us take this example see so what you need to do is so 1 2 3 4 you have to place like this 1 2 3 4 4 okay bhadrartha tastu and then in the other 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 4 and in fact later he will say urdhvasthitaihi tadankaihi chadaka संछादयो पृथक यानी तिर्यकोष्ठा आद्य अन्तरस्ूर्धगा कोष्ठा सो आद्य रेफर्स टू दिस छादका स्क्वयर एंड द अदर रेफर्स टू दिस छाद्या स्क्वयर सो वैल अरेजिंग दिस नंबर सो हि से यू हेव टू फॉलो य सर्टन पैटर्न सो यू जस्ट डिवेड दिस हरिजाटली and then place them clockwise here so clockwise here anti clockwise anti clockwise so in the case of para pankti so you have to divide it this way so when you deal with the para pankti and its guna so guna pankti has to be so here you have to place it vertically you have to divide so and then so 0 5 10 15 0 5 10 15 0 5 10 15 so this is how they have to be arranged so bhadrasyaardham so these are uh, referred to in the verse by kramagaihi utkramagaihi so krama is so a certain pattern utkrama is the reverse pattern so half of them has to be filled this way half of it has to be filled that way and uh, here how do you know that you have to divide horizontally and vertically so you can do this operation on this or that doesn't matter so one of this has to be filled uh, broken horizontally the other has to be broken vertically so it will work out so that is what he is saying tiryak koshthani tiryak means so that which is horizontal and uh, anyasmin urdhagani so that which is vertical okay so that is why we have shown this way so bhadranam yah samputa vidhi uktaha nrhari tanayena so nrhari tanaya so this is how he describes narayana a son of narahari so nrhari tanaya okay <laughs> so we had this uh, so elements placed here so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 and then anti clockwise so we have placed this so now you have to do a samputa the samputa so amounts to so 3 plus 10 see so that will be 13 and so this zero will overlap with the 2 So and the first element will be zero plus two, and the second element will be five plus three, eight, 
third element will be 15 plus 2 17 and the last will be 10 plus 3 that will be 13. So, similarly, so 5 plus 1 so 16 and the last element will be. So, this 15 plus 1 this actually goes as 16. So, it is a folding and then at 10 plus 4 you have 14 and then 0 plus 1 you have 1 and the last 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay. So, this is how it is this is a pan diagonal square. So, so this 16, 8, 12 and 4. So, this is 20 this is 20 you have 40. So, you start with 2. So, if you take this pan diagonal 2 then you have to have 11, 18, 9. So, this also gives you 40. Okay. So, obviously all other rows and columns they sum up to 40. So, this is the prescription of Samputa Vidhi which has been given by Narayana. Fine. So, all the pan 7 suppose you choose 7, 9, 70 sorry 17, 9 and then 11 and 3. So, these two sum up to 20, these two sum up to 20. So, you have 40. So, this is a so pan diagonal. Suppose you choose all this 4, so corner elements see. So, 2, 19, 6 and 13 see they, they form a torus right. So, 2, 19, 6 and 13. So, they also sum up to 40. So, this is the kind of prescription which has been given by Narayana to get a pan diagonal square of dimension 4 by 4. Okay. So, let us just take one more example. Suppose you say sum is 120. So, you can choose Mola Pankti to be. So, it is all Ishta. So, you can start with wherever you want 2, 4, 6, 8, Para Pankti 1, 2, 3, 4. So, their sum is 20, this sum is 10 and uh, what you have to determine is Guna. So, the quantity to be multiplying this para pankti. So, S minus S m by S p you get 10 and guna pankti is just the product of this guna and the para pankti. So, 10, 20, 30 and 40. So, this has to be arranged as far as one square chadya square is concerned. So, you just arrange it see. So, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, this the top portion top half of this you arrange in a clockwise manner, the bottom portion you arrange in a anti clockwise 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, you arrange this way and here you have to divide it vertically 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, so 10, 20, 30, 40. So, here anti clockwise 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. So, you sum them up. So, you have the square. So, this is samputa sum. So, you have to remember that. 10 see 4 you get 14 and then 20 so 6 you have 26 so and then you have 40 plus 4 44 and the last column will be 30 plus 6 36 this so suppose you take so this 22 and then 16 38 44 you can easily see that so this is 120 so all the diagonals and pan diagonals they will sum up to. Okay. So, the same 120 you can choose a different uh, this is just to illustrate that see. So, in the say, say 120 I chose 2 4 6 8 and 1 2 3 4 here here 3 6 9 12 0 3 6 9. So, it is all just any arithmetic progression will do okay. and you will be able to get a different magic square. So, which whose sum will be this and then which one? This, the S minus S M upon S. No, no, it need not be. So you can, uh, so you can say take negative thing also, negative number. So any arithmetic sequence will do. Okay. Now I move on to uh, the next thing. So Narayana's folding method for eight by eight magic square. So that uh, when he described the verse, he said samagarbhe dve karye. That's all. So samagarbha when you mention it can refer to magic square of dimension 4 m. So, 8 by 8 so the same thing will work out and he also said bhadramita see the sequence that you have to choose should be same as the uh, magic squares dimension. 
So, so here you have to choose 8 numbers that is all. So, let us take one uh, simple example. So, this mola pankti suppose the sum is 260. So, I want to construct a magic square sum is 260. So, you just choose mola pankti. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> this para pankti. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So, these simple illustrations have been provided in the text itself. Very simple. Uh, all that you need to do is so, if you recall, so the sum and the mola pankti sum has to be subtracted from the sum of the magic square and then you have to divide by the para pankti sum, this is all it is. So, that prescription is same. So, 260 is the sum which is desired sum, magic sum and the sum of this has to be subtracted from that. So, divide by the sum of the para pankti and what you get is 8 here. So, this is guna. So, this guna has to be multiplied with the para. See, the advantage in choosing 0 will be so addition subtraction will become easier. <laughs> so, when you multiply, <laughs> so that is the idea of choosing 0 and choosing the small elements. So, you can choose a big number also, does not matter 48, uh, 96. I mean, you can choose all that, but then that will not be convenient. So, that is why choose a small numbers. So, then you get this uh, guna pankti again the same principle you have to divide this so into half so place it in a particular way in one half of that and then in another way in the other half of the square for instance here what we have done is you divide this so into two halves so at this so then you place all this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay right so, here it is reverse. So, you have to do the anti clockwise in the other portion 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this is how it is placed. So, here, so you have to split it into the other vertically, you have to divide into half. So, and then you have to place see 0, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. So, you place it here. So, you have to place it here the same way and then place it here the same way. So, this half is filled. So, you have to do the other way around. So, you have to do it clockwise here 0, 8. So, you add them sum put a vidhi. So, this 56 plus 4 is 60, then 48 plus 5 is 53, then you take 40 plus 4, so 44. So, this color will help you in identifying. So, this is 32 plus 5 is 37. So, and then 0 plus 4, that is all. So, you have got this uh, magic square of 8 by 8 dimension. Okay. So, one more thing I just want to discuss. So, Narayana's folding method for odd squares. So, morning, so we had discussed this traditional method, see. So, move along the diagonal and then, uh, so this verses were also discussed, asha, pratyasha, so, <laughs> so all that we did. So, now, uh, so, here he says Pankti Mula Guna Khestaha Pragvat Sadhye. See, almost identical the prescription is. So, Pankti Mula Guna Khe, you have to uh, derive two Panktis, Pragvat Sadhye. So, like before, you have to do this. So, Adi Maya Murtha Pankto Madhyame Koshthake Likhet. So, it is only a question of arranging in a slightly different way. So, in the case of odd squares, so this uh, prescription is same, you have to obtain Mula Pankti, you have to obtain this para pankti and then with them so so he says adhi mayam urdha pankto madhyame koshthake likhet tadadaha kramam so shishtankan urdha tak kramat driti adhyasu tadvat driti adhyamsa sam likhet i will quickly move on to the example so let us choose a 5 by 5 magic square and let us say the sum we want is 65 so mola pankti para pankti so 65 minus sum of the mola pankti divided by the sum of the para pankti what we get is phi and the guna pankti that you get is so just multiply this guna by para pankti you have this so now how do you arrange them so the arrangement is done this way see if you look at the verse adi mayam urdhva pankto madhyame koshthake likhet madhyame koshthake the middle one okay you start with that so, Adi Maya Urdha Pankti, Urdha Pankti, so if you divide at uh, some point, so then uh, all of them will be Urdhva, Adi Maha Urdhva means the top row, okay. 
So, in the top row choose the middle one. So, and then start. So, how do you start writing? Tadatha kramam. Okay. So, you have to just place the sequence one below the other. So, you had the sequence of mola pankti. So, you arrange them one below the other. So, then you move on to the next one. So, there you have to arrange it. So, one below see. So, you have to arrange it this way and then here you have to arrange. So, once you come here, so this will go to this side. So, and then this will complete this. So, this is the arrangement that he <coughs> prescribes. The same will be for the chadaka square also. See, start with this. So, and then you go. So, you get. So, now you add this. This uh, kind of uh, method, so which has been uh, prescribed here, so does not yield uh, a pan diagonal magic square and, uh, and it can be converted to a pan diagonal by slightly rearranging this. Okay. So, modification of Narayana Samputa for odd squares. So, we choose the same example and so we arrange this in the same manner. See, this Mula Pankti so has to be arranged in the same manner, but here when you arrange this Chadaka to obtain this Chadaka square, so what you do is you start with this, but then so you just see the reason that we have here is see all the so diagonal elements are the same. And uh, so, all that has to be done is you slightly shift it. See, it is a sort of Toragagati you start. <laughs> so, and then place here 0. So, Molapanthi also seems to be different. Huh? No, no, no. Arrangement. Arrangement, Arrangement in both. Is both. Different. Yeah. Turaga. Turaga. So, Turaga way of shifting. Okay. So, you arrange and turaga then you add that. Yeah. So, you add that. So, you will be able to get this. Okay. So, 22 plus 2, uh, so 20 here and then 2, 22. So, now let us see. So, we have uh, so this 14 plus 3, 25 and uh, 6, 17. So, 17 plus 3 is 20, 25 is 45 and this adds to 20. So, you get the sum 65. So, this is a pan diagonal square. So, this Chadya Chadaka generation is identical, but it is only the arrangement. So, one can play around uh, with magic square and then invent something new also. Okay. So, this is all it is. <laughs> so, this is uh, recreational mathematics. So, with uh, a couple of references. So, I will just uh, conclude my talk on magic square. So, this uh, Ganita Kaumadi of Narayana Pandita as I was mentioning is uh, so the earliest text that is available. So, which has a elaborate discussion on magic square. So, it has almost uh, 75 plus verses. So, discussing magic square. So, we saw a few verses right at the beginning as to how Narayana was. So, clearly stating so what he wanted to do and all the preliminaries were mentioned. And uh, so, this is the paper which I was uh, referring to Professor Vijay Raghavan. So, on Jaina's magic square and uh, this was referred to by Professor Srinivas also during his talk. So, Kusuba so, he has uh, taken a couple of chapters of Narayana Pandita. So, chapters 13 and 14, 13 deals with combinatorics and 14 deals with <coughs> Bhadra Ganita. So, this magic square and uh, this was his uh, PhD dissertation submitted in Brown University and Paramananda Singh has also brought out English translation. So, this book Ganita Sara Kaumudi also has a small section. So, it, it does not deal with in great detail. So, it does not discuss pan diagonal magic square, but it has a brief uh, discussion on magic squares and Thakkara Pheru, this is the earliest text that we have and if you note, so Sakya, so refers to Sharma, Kusuba, Hayashi and Yano. <laughs> so, all fours are friends, okay. so they have coined a nice term. So, the first two letters Sakya. So, and, uh, Professor Srinivas and uh, Raja Sri Charan had also authored an article on this. So, these are the references. Okay, thank you. <laughs>